All right, we needed a calendar to get this. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna, we should probably do this. We don't wanna get, we don't wanna lag behind, be too uneducated, um, but not necessarily uh, get writing just yet because we need to take advantage of uh, what we can as early as possible. And this unit can be promoted again. This will be the second time they're promoted. Um, so I can either keep them completely uh, shock related or I can sort of balance it out. Um, I think I'm going to give it drill one so it's uh, better on all grounds because right now it's really in that rough terrain. And move on to next turn. Uh -oh. Alright, he made the mistake of attacking my boys so they just took him out. Oh, another unit can be promoted, alright. Them as well, so I'll do the same thing as well, get them shot. And these guys, oh. Um, let's see, visibility range. I'm gonna give them survivalism, keep them uh, alive if they keep it getting attacked or whatever. And they need orders, so I'm just gonna fortify until heal. Same with this guy, fortify until heal. And we as well, because we aren't too far away. Ooh. We are not growing at all. Why aren't we growing? That's not good. Um, it's because we do not have as, as enough food to feed everyone. So, that is not good, so we need to get these workers over here. No, we need to get this done pretty quickly. Um, Alright, I'm missing them down here. And these guys, I guess, just keep moving along. Discover as much as possible. Nice, we can adopt another policy. All right, let's see. Um, all right, which would be best? Okay, so we might want to get this meritocracy because uh, it increases the happiness for each city owned connected to the capital city, and it reduces the unhappiness from citizens that are in non-occupied cities. So we're about to get a new city because we have our settlers uh, almost on being made but by the time we get that city up and running and have a road connecting it to the capital we'll probably have already gotten another social policy so we might not want to do that uh, and probably get Republic up and going alright so these guys keep them moving discover more stuff uh, alright so we want them to construct a farm in eight turns because they need to chop down the forest. Alright, uh... And let's see, where we... Alright, we're gonna get food from that tile, so... Move them down here, alright? And start constructing that mine. Get it up and running. Oh, we found Mount Sinai. Output of worked, alright, 8 faith. Alright, so we might want to get down here because we also got some cotton over here, uh, some stone, uh, and it looks like some fish. Alright, this could be a nice area to settle, so uh, definitely want to get this area first because it's a lot closer and we've already started preparing for it with animal husbandry. Um, although animal husbandry would come into effect over here as well, but it would take longer for our settlers to get from there to there, so, and also, um, It'd be harder for me to protect my city by uh, spreading my forces too thin. While if my forces are just right over here concentrating this area, no one's going to mess with us and get away with it. Uh, Songhai, got the gods of protection, and I found my sign. Alright, next turn. Yeah, so we're going to get settlers in two turns uh, for up there. And then, once we get those settlers, I think we might immediately start making more... Although, that could be a problem, though, because we might be over expanding too quickly uh, and our production might not be able to keep up with it. We'll see what happens when we get to it. Uh, Alright, looks like no one's doing anything. All these guys are healing up. So we'll just keep going to next turn. We have no combat units defending our territory. Yep, I, I'm aware that none of my units are actually in my territory. But that's about to change because in two turns I can make an archer to defend the city, although the city already has natural defenses. Um, I have my settlers over there. 
I could make a caravan to uh, get some trade routes in there, get some extra gold, some extra food. Uh, or I can make the granary, which um, could be useful. Um, I'm not sure, honestly, what I should get. I'm thinking... Honestly, there, are, there isn't a real threat at this point, and I have all these warriors over here, so... Um, even though it'll only take two turns, let's not invest in that, and rather invest in a caravan, possibly? Keep everyone happy? Because I don't have any... Oh, wait, no, I do have wheat. What am I saying? All right. Oh, what? Oh, I can change that, right? Wait, where is it? Oh, God. What did I click? Oh, no. Here it is. Oh, thank God. All right, change that to granary. I thought I just screwed myself over. All right. So, granary in four turns. All right, these guys send them back into the city because our military advisor was bitching at us. And keep them exploring. All right, found Kabul. Stop it. I don't need your help. I probably do, honestly. Um, and all right, so my settlers. I uh, can start sending them over here. And I know it's going to warn me about having settlers outside the boundaries next turn without uh, a military uh, escort. But I'm not too uh, upset about that. Alright, we got some barbarians over here, so I'm going to run away from them. Uh, but I'll keep my military close by, keep them following them. Alright, ooh, alright, it's saying that that is a good spot right there, but I'm going to go over here. Your settler is alone. Yep, yep, I'm aware that it's alone. And I think I'm going to settle right there. So I'm right next to Lake Victoria. That's in my direct vicinity. Uh, get the, those things. Wouldn't be too far from that. And also, uh, I think having a river is helpful as well. Not too sure what having a river does. Maybe it doesn't do anything. Alright, Sidon under attack. Alright, I don't know what they're... Probably from uh, Barbarians. I'm going to assume. And I will settle right here, even though it's not telling me to. Oh, and we did look at that. It's so close that uh, the borders have already uh, collided, which may actually be a mistake. Because, um, you know, eventually they would have uh, combined anyway as the cities grew. But I guess that also helps in the fact that uh, the city will still spend less time growing towards each other now and more times growing outwards. But I'll choose a production for Hamburg. Uh, I'll do the monument because uh, that's what you what I'm assuming you should always start with I think these guys are done now they got that set up and I should start send them over here to get that farm going and these warriors I will put them on alert so that if anyone comes near they are ready to just kick some ass and these guys are still healing up taking forever uh, where are these guys all right they're fine over there next turn Alright, right, so we're getting a good idea about what this whole area looks like. Alright, I'm in a spot with those workers. Oh, got a spell. Just... Choose a production. Uh, hmm. I think... Now, if we start cranking out some wonders early on, that could be good. Um, plus 10% growth in all cities, 50 percent production when building ranged units. That could be good. My foreign advisor says I should do that. Alright, if I, if I have an advisor telling me to build a wonder this early, I probably should. Um, bronze working. Get some spearmen up in here, some barracks. Um, or the wheel, get some chariot archers, a uh, water mill, that could be good actually, that's where the being on a, on a river takes its hand, uh, being able to take advantage of, um, getting all that food and production from being next to a river, so I'm gonna do that, oh, and, uh, there was, what is this, uh, oh, and the wheel gives me the ability to construct a road, so I didn't even realize that wasn't an option already, so now, in nine turns, I'll be able to construct a road from here to here, uh, and that will benefit us greatly. So, my scouts need some orders, so I'm going to send them up here. And I'm going to get these, ooh, uh, 
I can get them to get that luxury. Start building the plantation now. Um, and we got plus 8 food, plus 10 production. Oh, we're doing fine. Um, so we're not in very high demand of food right now. So I guess we can start uh, just right away getting the plantation rather than going over here and um, building the farm. Because even now, it's not telling me to do that anymore. Now it's just like, alright, dude, go ahead, build that plantation, get that silk. So we're going to start doing that. I don't, I don't want to cross through this. I don't even think I can yet. That would be an act of uh, declaring war because I don't have uh, open borders with that civilization yet. So uh, I guess I can keep going down more and more and discover myself. Oh, it's a bar uh, excuse me, a barbarian ship. Uh, Alright, they're done with that. I will. That's a hill. That's a hill. So I can construct quarries over here. But we don't really need quarries right now. We need... I guess we need some more food, so I'll send them on their way over there. And this warrior unit is finally done healing, so I'm going to send them back up to the main city. And go on to the next turn. Oh, nice. Finally, some more runes. Uh, it's very annoying how the uh, the rough terrain only lets you move uh, by one step rather than two. It really just uh, drains the time, which is why you, know, you really need to strategize on where you have your units in this game. It gets really uh, intense later on. All right. Your unit equips itself with advanced weapons found in the ruins. Okay, how did, how did uh, they just advance themselves? Oh! My scouts you now just have became a ranged archers. unit. They just straight up became archers. So now I. That could be good, but it's also kind of bad because now I don't have scouts anymore. They just. They were just like, fuck it, we're gonna be archers. Um. So. Yeah, they're doing whatever. They're doing their thing. They're gonna come in here. Oh, this is the production of that uh, wonder over here. Uh, bring them in here as well. Oh, we've expanded. So now we have that the horses for the husbandry as well. All right, you guys start constructing that farm. Let's go on to that next turn. Uh, all right, there's a barbarian camp right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over there just to get a view of it. And all these guys, um, this looks like it's a coast, but I'm just gonna send them on their way so they can see it, uh, get that out of the way, and is. This is a bit clouded out as well, but I'll keep them here. I'll send these guys that were on, on alert previously. I'll send them over there and I'll put these guys on alert and keep them watching the city. Okay, so a ranged attack would be good, so I'll send them back one step and send that, set up that ranged attack far enough away that I don't think they can hit me. And this guy still moving on. Yep, got some some nice gold over here. Hopefully, rather than this way, we start expanding more outwards this way in order to get there. And if need be, uh, like I was saying before, you can buy tiles, um, just uh, anything that's adjacent to something already on. And then I believe these purple tiles are valuable tiles you can buy or what uh, it's recommended you buy but we're not going to throw our money away even though we do have a lot of money right now uh, and we're almost at a golden age we're actually doing very well for ourselves but let's not jinx ourselves and also just throw that down the trash all right both of our cities grew yes, but now let's keep attacking them nice volley going all right start sending them back send them out there oh all right we've got kiev another uh city state and, uh, all right, Hamburg grew a little bit. Ooh, we're not actually, we don't actually own Lake Victoria already. Um, and it will cost us 80 gold. And in 23 turns, unless we all of a sudden get some major production going on in this city, uh, will be the next time it grows. And it's not guaranteed that it's going to grow over there, so I think... It's actually smart to uh, just spend the 80 bucks right now, um, just to ensure the the perk of owning that area. Okay, 
So that's six food from that place. Um, which is very good. Very good. Because otherwise Hamburg is pretty still. And look at that. Just by owning Lake Victoria, we've gone down from expanding in 23 turns to just four turns. Yeah, that was, that was a very good investment. And we're at happiness of nine. It looks like we're actually going down in happiness. Which is not good. So we need to figure out how to make them more happy uh, as time goes on. Alright, Barbarian Encampment right there. You might want to handle that with these guys. Send them on their way. Uh, Alright. Uh, oh, and Sidon, which is these guys. They want us to destroy this. Whoever destroys this first um, will get an award. So hopefully the Songhai Spearmen get the fuck out of our business and uh... Alright, same with Kiev. There's a barbarian encampment somewhere over here in this clouded area that they want us to get rid of as well. And there we go, met them. Alright, so hopefully those spearmen just get out of here. Wisdom and virtue. Right, keep attacking them. Alright, Hamburg. Let's see. What should we build? We should build a... Do we have any... Uh, weed, banana, or deer sources? No, but we could. Soon enough. Uh, if we're lucky enough to expand in that direction. Uh, and scouts used to explore. Twelve turns, but my foreign advisor and military advisor advised me to do that. But... I don't know if I want to invest 12 turns in another scout unit. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to build a shrine, maybe? Do I have a shrine in Berlin already? I do not have a shrine. I have a monument and a granary. Um, so... Maybe Granary is the right option, since the economic advisor is saying to do so. Maybe I'm overlooking something that... Uh, maybe since uh, these uh, are connected, it's taken into effect the, the wheat that I have over here. So I, I'll start investing the 29 turns for that, which will lower down, hopefully. Uh, lower down, what am I saying? Will decrease. I need to learn some English. Um, as the production increases in Hamburg. And... From then on, uh, our science advisor has been telling us for a while to get writing, so we might as well start doing that now. Uh, we, you know, we're a smart nation, we need to get that done. And so it turns the Temple of Artemis will be ready. And these brutes are doing nothing. Uh, but, might as well just send them back into the main part of the city. Send these guys out. Ooh, what is that? Barbarian settlers? Uh, hopefully we can get those settlers by destroying them before they, uh, settle a new place or whatever. Okay, oh, looks like so we have our silk plantation done. So, we can go ahead and... Should we go down here to, uh, start making that pasture? How much time do they have? They still have four turns before that farm is completed. And we want to get Hamburg up and running as quickly as possible, so, um, let's see. Uh, what does, what does getting a pasture do? I'm, like, spacing out right now. Um. Alright, the reason why they want us to do it here is because these are horses, which are a lot more valuable than sheep, I guess. But, yeah, I might as well... The game's telling me to do it, I might as well do it. Still taking out these guys, taking a while, but I'm gonna get it done. Alright, move down there, start constructing that pasture in six turns. Alright, uh, these are German brutes. Uh, just put them on alert right on the city. These guys move them over here, get another view. And send these guys up here so that they're in the uh, rough terrain so that they'll have a better advantage fighting, hopefully. Looks like it's still a stalemate. 
So maybe actually what I should do is send these guys on their way to help. And by the time they start getting low from attacking them, uh, that's done and done. And oh crap, alright, so just take them out real quick. Just real spicy quick. Send this guy on his way. And these guys will start attacking. I have some information. And these guys will gradually pull them away as well. Alright, they want to make a declaration of friendship. Sure, let's do that. I don't really know much about them, but I don't really want to be making enemies. Ooh, nice. Cities can Golden bombard besiegers. Alright, those spearmen immediately moved into place. So we didn't take that over yet. We need to walk into it to take it over. So, but still, just just send that volley out. You know, do whatever. Um, send these guys on their way to help them out. And these guys, these guys have the shock, so we can attack from that spot. Uh, no problem. Uh, another stalemate, no problem. And these barbarians are encroaching on Hamburg, so we can. Uh, have the city launch a, a volley at them, get them off our hair, and these guys will send them straight through to take them out because these guys are going to start moving in to take these guys, so barbarians can move two places, I'm assuming, just like us, so the closer that they can get in the next turn is here, and they won't actually take them over, hopefully. I'm kind of bargaining with these guys, but I, I want to get them done because they just have that one turn left before that farm's completed. Alright, Golden Age. Uh, so, everything's here. What's Golden Age actually, actually like to do? Um, every time, alright. One extra gold, 20% production increase, and power culture cultures increased by 20% as well. And looks like in the next turn we're going to get a new policy as well, so next turn is a big turn. Oh, alright, so they aren't even going for the settlers, not settlers, the workers. I was just being a bit paranoid, which is always really good. Cities, like military. Yes, yes, I know. They can attack that. Bada bop. Ooh, I almost completely took him out. You, know, you guys keep doing that. And what we'll do now is speeds the training of settlers by 50% in the capital, and a free settler unit appears at the capital. Um, that could be good, that could be very good, because we can also set up that area that we were talking about before. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. And now these guys can take them out in a decisive victory. Just bop them on the head. Bop them. There we go. Alright, those workers can, I guess... Oh, well, it's telling us to get that cotton plantation up and running, so we might as well start doing that over there. And these guys start sending them over here, like we were saying. Ah, uh, we got that new settler unit. So, like I was saying before, right over here, that is a good spot. Um, but we also don't want to send them unguarded. It's a bit risky, but I'm going to start sending them on their way anyway. If I get the slightest uh, sight of trouble, I'm just going to turn back immediately. Uh, and for these guys, I'm just going to get that minor victory going. Just pop them on the head. And go on to our next turn. Alright, we're the most progressive, even though we're technically tied for first with three other countries that we haven't even met yet. Alright, we can promote a unit. Alright, these guys, we can give them shock one so they start doing better than that. And we'll make them fortify until heal. And these guys, we'll make them have that decisive victory, take over the camp. And we'll get that unit, whatever it was, maybe it was settlers, maybe it was workers. Alright, you captured a civilian, which used to belong to the Ottomans. You have the choice of returning it to them or taking it for yourself as a worker. If you return it, they shall be very grateful. Now, we have, what, two, three worker units already? Um, so we definitely don't have a shortage, but then again, it could be very helpful to have an extra, uh, unit. And we aren't trading with anyone, we aren't really actually paying attention to anyone, so for them being very grateful, doesn't seem like, um, 
that beneficial unless they start offering to open up trade units and you'll give us a lot of stuff which in the long run might be better but also right now for the short run um, we can get that new city up and running as fast as possible with those new settlers I'm sending out and uh, that short run improvement will turn into a long run improvement uh, my other thing, I'm just going to take the unit fuck it, take that work unit um, and these guys I'll start sending them down catch up with those settlers these guys move up here, start constructing the cotton plantation it's not racist, it's a real thing and these guys just <laughs> keep volleying, keep volleying. Okay. So now we have the luxury resource of salt that they want, and they're gonna what? They're gonna straight up give us 85 gold, and then four gold per turn for the next 30 turns. Bruh, <laughs> I'll definitely accept that. We got so much salt. Here is something that may be And Temple Artemis. Done. Done deal. Nice. And writing. Oh, this is a good turn. Alright, uh, we need all that influence. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, keep volleying on them. Almost got him, almost got him. We got one guy left in there. Uh, alright. And so, what we can do is we can send this, uh, convoy of men down this way along with this worker unit send them on the way down to these settlers as they're on their way uh, and these brutes gonna start heading back these brutes are doing their thing all right uh ooh, in two turns we're gonna level up the, not level up uh, expand some more uh definitely want to get that water mill going although great library now. Another wonder that they're immediately telling me to get. Um, and again, we're not going for that military uh, standpoint. Um, let's see, we got that 7 food, 15 production. I think we can survive the next few turns without uh, expanding the food with that water mill. And we're already, um, we have the worker units we need to start expanding ourselves food-wise anyway um, once they finish building the pasture and plantation. So we're going to go with the Great Library, get these wonders out of the way before any other uh, nation gets in between us with that. And these guys, what was I going to do with these guys? Probably just uh, let them sit there and wait. Research a new thing. Uh, probably want to get that bronze working up and running since uh, it looks like it's the least amount that we can do. Even though we're not going to be a militant thing, uh, military advisors telling us to do it. Not necessarily a military action, rather than uh, make sure we keep the peace. You know, make sure everyone's. Oh, and Hamburg wants ivory. Ooh, where where are we going to get ivory from? We don't have any. I remember last time I was playing this uh, a long time ago. I remember I had like in the first city I spawned in. There was like three elephant tiles right in there. Like I, I had so much ivory, like everyone was dying for it. Uh, and we and we were very, we got lots of money from trading off people. But oh well, uh, I guess we'll go to next turn. All right, I think this is the turn that they're gonna die in. There we go. He's dead. Uh, these guys just stay alert. Those workers are done, and what is recommended now is that we connect um, Berlin to Hamburg, which probably is a good thing to do, because, uh, let's see, we still got lots of food from there, and what about here, what's our food situation there? Well, they're both connected to the uh, uh, tile-wise, so that's always good, so I think we can sacrifice the time to start connecting them with a road and these guys keep sending them down keep sending them down uh, those barbarian spearmen looking a bit nasty but they probably either don't see us or won't catch up to these settlers so don't worry about that and if they, oh man they're being taken out by Wellington anyway they're just getting roasted Goes ahead, take that camp, and we got a spearman unit. Nice, nice, nice. 
Uh, promote them. Uh, barrage or accuracy. Uh, I'll do barrage first and accuracy next. Alright, so go straight through their area. Nice. Construct a mine there? No, I want to go over here and start constructing a road. Uh, I think I'll go straight across that and not cut through the plantation. Just go boop, boop, boop. Okay. Keeping a close eye on the settlers. I don't want any barbarians just to sneak up on them. But now, it's not that much of an issue. I'll send my spearmen up to intercept them over here, keep them safe, and I'll send my archers over here to explore some more a little bit. Alright, that is done. So what I'll do now is send them over here, start building a road over here so we can connect in between. Keeping things nice and efficient. Alright, we want we said so we want to do it over here. Because right next to Mount Sinai, uh, the cotton, the river, soon will expand over that. Uh, but also, we can get some crabs from there. I wouldn't be too shocked if we can expand. Maybe we should... No, we don't want to build a city right there because that would probably destroy the cotton. Yeah, no, we don't want to... We don't want to settle there. Pretty sure whatever city, uh, whatever tile you settle on uh, just completely alters the tile. If I'm... If I'm correct. Here Hector with a spear. Alright, get that bronze working. Nice, nice. And we can turn that, let's see. Trapping works with deer, elephant, and uh, foxes. So, do we have any uh, settlements that are near uh, deer? Alright, we're about to get some deer over here if we expand that way. So, trapping would probably be something that I'd want to invest in. This also only takes four turns, but let's see. I can get a lighthouse for a coast and ocean tile, and each source of fish produces more food. And we're about to get a, a coastal city right over here, and we can expand over to get this fish. So I think I'm gonna do optics. Yeah, that seems like the right call. All right, keep them moving. What's the luxury resource over here? Crabs? Is that it? Yeah, I think. Hmm. But Mount Sinai gives us eight faith. But then again, we are in a very faith filled society as it is. And we probably would want to take advantage of this as quickly as possible because. Uh, these guys are, are quickly moving in on this area. We want to make sure we can sort of blockade them from having the spot. So maybe, actually, I'm going to change my mind. We're going to settle here and um, get this little circle of space right here. Stop them from expanding and hopefully just sort of keep expanding quicker than they do around the area and, and advance as quickly as possible. 